We're going to take a look at this lathe tool that accepts carbide inserts. We'll put the uh, link to the source of the carbide, carbide inserts and uh, also the little screws that hold it in there. That'll be in the description. All right, what we've got here is a piece half by half, so half inch square stock, about three and a half inches long. And we've taken that vise and rotated it. You see which way it's going around like this. We rotate it at six degrees. Because the angle, I don't have anything to point with here. There we go. This angle on this insert is six degrees off of being a 90 degree angle, say from this side to that side. So we've made this six degrees also. Then what we've done is taken a, a, a number 143 number drill because it fits quite nicely into the hole on my uh, insert and we've kind of moved things around using the uh, the mill wheels and got it so that this side is just hanging over the end a little bit and this side over here is just hanging over that side a little bit and now we need to mark this spot right here at the end right there because we need to drill a one-eighth hole there that's going to be very hard to see on camera but i have taken this scriber and marked that little spot right about there it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer the better and after marking that little spot we've taken our scriber and we scribed a line along the side of the uh, insert here and another line along the other side of the insert. And try to get a little closer there, but uh, probably not too easy to see on the camera. But we've got a line now that we can work to. And the insert fits inside those lines. Now we've already taken our tap drill, which uh, in my case was uh, for our 2.5 millimeters, and we've drilled right through our little mark here, all the way through to the other side. Next, we're moving over to the vertex of these two lines. Right where the two lines meet, we're just going to spot that with a center drill, and then we're going to drill through that with a 1 8 twist drill and uh, we don't have to go all the way through but we need to go deeper than wherever the the insert is going to sit so not really necessary to go all the way through <laughs> Okay, here's the first pass with a 1 8 end mill. And we went straight across and uh, intersected with that little hole. And we'll try to get it on the screen for you. You can see it better that way. <laughs> and the flashlight, I, I think, doesn't really help too much. But we went straight across until we intersected with the hole. We're only 60 thou deep. We need to be at least 107. So I'm going to back up now and uh, take another cut at that 107 depth. And the pocket is now cleaned up. Here's our insert. And we got a few burrs in there that I'm going to clean up with a little file, but I think we're pretty good there. Yeah, we just clean those burrs up and we should be good. And put that uh, 2.5 millimeter tap drill back in the chuck 
and I've lined it up over our tapped hole and we're not quite perfect I don't see it jumping around anymore so I think we're really close to uh, use the mill to, to tap that just to line it up not to actually tap it I'm just going to bring the spindle down and then I'll turn it from the belts up top just to get it started because you really don't have much feel for this and we don't want to break it but we do want to get it started straight Okay, that, uh, that should be far enough. Well, I removed that from the mill, took it over to the bench vise, and I used this uh, old chuck to do the tapping because I didn't have a wrench small enough to fit that tap. So we've inserted the insert into it. And what have I got to point with here? This side doesn't look quite perfect. This side is really nice. But there's a problem here. We're kind of just hanging over. I don't know if you can see that or not. But right over here, the insert is actually not lined up over top of this. It should be over the top. And actually, this, this is proud of the insert surface is what I'm saying. So we've got to take a little bit of metal off here. Not much at all. And then we'll go try this out. All right, we just put this on the belt sander and then just cleaned it up a little bit in this area. And I think that will do it. Let's go try that out. down a little bit and ran it over again and uh, the surface finish looks a lot better now.